Hello, everyone. This is coadb.com or the Coat of Arms database. And today we're going to talk briefly about 10 different right coats of arms. The first is blazoned Argent, two bars azure, on a chief of the last, three leopards' faces of the first. Crest, a dexter arm embowed, habited azure, holding in the hand proper a sword, point downwards, argent, hilt, and pommel or, and filed with a leopard's face as in the arms. This coat of arms was confirmed and allowed on December 18th, 1583 to Richard Wright, a sergeant at arms who was the son of John Wright of Bickley. Next we have Sable, a chevron argent, between three bull's heads, cabos of the second, crest out of a ducal coronet or a bull's head argent attired of the first. This coat of arms belonged to a family living in Matram St. Andrew in County Chester, who descended from Thomas Wright of Nantwich, who lived during the reign of Henry VIII. William Wright, built Matram Hall in about 1750. He built the house for his son Randall, but unfortunately his son died soon after its completion. There were six generations of the family that owned the house. Third, we have Sable a chevron engrailed between three fleur-de-lis or on a chief of the last as many spearheads proper, a border wavy ermine, crest on a mount vert, and within an annulet or, a dragon's head cooped at the neck argent semi of annulet sable and murally gorged gules. This coat of arms was granted to Sir James Wright, the seventh governor of Carolina and Georgia, who was created a baronet by King George on December 8, 1772. He married Sarah Maidman and had nine children with her. The next coat of arms that we have to discuss is blazoned sable on a chevron argent, three spirits heads gules in chief, two unicorns heads erased of the second, armed and maned or in base on a pile of the last issuant from a chevron, a unicorn's head erased of the field. Crest, a unicorn's head or argent erased gules, armed and maned or charged upon the neck with three spearheads, one and two, also gules. This coat of arms, belonged to the Wright family of Osmaston Manor in the county of Derby, who were originally from Stowmarket, County Suffolk. Osmaston Manor was built for Francis Wright, who was born in 1806, and he inherited the estate from his mother's family. The Wright family were Nottingham bankers, but made their fortune from iron and coal production. Next, Azure, two bars argent in chief, three leopards' faces or, out of a ducal coronet, a dragon's head proper. This coat of arms was granted to Sir Henry Wright, who was born in 1637. When he was created, the first baronet of Dagenham in the year 1660. Henry was a member of parliament for Harwich and the son of Lawrence Wright of Essex a medical doctor who was physician in ordinary to Oliver Cromwell. Next, we have a similar or identical coat of arms, and it's blazing the same. And we have this coat of arms belong to, oh, I think I skipped ahead here one. 
So this one is the same as the last, and this coat of arms belonged to the right baronets of Cranham Hall. This baronetcy was created for Sir Benjamin Wright on February 16th, 1661. The title became extinct on the death of the fourth baronet in 1738. Seventh, we have Argent on a fess engrailed between three eagles heads erased azure as many martlets of the field crest on a Mount Burt, a unicorn passant regarding Argent, semi of Estoil's azure, armed, maned, and hoofed oar, gorged with a collar, also azure, the dexter paw reposing on a cross, pate, gold. This coat of arms belonged to the Wright family of Brattleby in the county of Lincoln. It was granted on October 6th, 1826. The eighth coat of arms, azure two bars argent in chief, three leopard's faces or crest out of a ducal coronet or a dragon's head proper. This coat of arms was granted to Sir Edmund Wright, Lord Mayor of London in 1641, who was born at Nantwich in the late 16th century, the son of Randall Wright. He married twice and had seven daughters. In 1629, Edmund purchased Swakely's Manor at Ickenham in Middlesex, and over the next 10 years had a house built there, known as Swakely's House. Next we have Per Pale Sable and Azure on a chevron between three unicorns heads cooped or three spearheads gules, crest out of a ducal coronet or an arm embowed in armor proper holding a broken tilting spear azure pointed or. This coat of arms was confirmed in South America to General Thomas Charles Wright, a general in the service of Columbia, the son of Joseph Wright, Esquire of Queensborough in Drogheda, Ireland. Now Thomas Charles Wright was born in 1799 and he was an Irish-born naval admiral that was a founding father of the Ecuadorian Navy and a general in Simon Bolivar's army. He is noted as a leading militarist in the struggle for the independence of Ecuador and other South American countries. He entered the Royal Navy College at the age of only 11. And the 10th and final coat of arms Argent on a pale gules between two crosses moline, azure, and eagle displayed or crest, a dexter hand cooped grasping a dagger piercing a leopard's face from above all proper. This coat of arms was granted to John Wright of Compsey Cottage, the son of John Wright of Clonlean and his wife, the daughter his wife Catherine, the daughter of Richard Shee, in the county of Tipperary on January 20th, 1833.